Hello, my name is Moira O'Brien. I don't normally do this, but as this is my Mavic Pro, which arrived the other day, I thought I would film the unboxing. So here we go. battery charger which we will plug in forthwith oh yes two blades Okay, so we have two blades and two blades. Now, let's have some light on the proceedings. That should be a bit better. Because one goes one way and the other goes the other way, so it has to be on the correct side. How do we know? That's got a white blob on it. So that goes on there. And we put it on. Push and turn. Put it on. Push and turn the other way. That's it. Remove the battery. We press in the sides and slide out. Okay. That battery charge goes in like so. And we've got one light on. Now let's have a look and see what we have here. Oops, that's not very clever. Turn it around properly. And what do we have in this one? We have We have a very small right angle um, USB for USB, small USB, mini, micro. And we have another one here. These are not easy to open. That's it. And we have the, the one for the, oops, little bits. I don't know what these little bits are for. We'll find out, no doubt. And this is the fabulous little controller. And let's find iPad. Take this cover off. Well, that looks like a very awkward. Oh, it does just about go in. Just about. That's pretty good. But we need to take out that. Right. We need to remove that. Because that's awkward. Now, how does that come out? Goes forward, does it? Does it go back? Well, we'll worry about that later. And that is the gimbal. It's very small and there is this plastic 
hook here which we pull out that secures the gimbal when it's uh, not running so to put it back on again that looks fiddly to me that looks very fiddly it definitely slots in to those slots but how to get the camera into the slot because that's not can go any further it's not really held it at all okay so you put the camera in first and then you slide it down so it actually covers so maybe we not want to put the camera back like that and we slide it in that's it now the camera is held okay that's quite important glad we found that out and then the, the gimbal cover with its rubber we're actually going to cut this up we're going to make a make it so that we can fly with the cover on the advice has always been that you shouldn't fly with the cover on because behind here are vents for the cooling system so if you cover that up then you're not going to be able to fly we're not going to be able to keep the uh, the cooling keep the, everything cooled so that looks pretty good put that back on it goes there keep that neat and tidy okay so I'm going to show you a few of the modifications that I've made I flew today and that was successful I'm going to show you that video I'll upload that video later but uh, this is my iPhone 7 Plus. The case is actually for a 6 Plus, but as you see, it's designed by Oliclip to have uh, accessories attached. And I don't really want to take it off because it's a very tight fit and it might easily damage the, the phone uh, to take it, to keep on putting it in and taking it off. So first of all, I removed the the cable from its uh, sliding housing because it no longer really fits in but uh, I can I can still get it into that side and pushing the other side in and bringing them together it gives me a nice firm hold and that's not going anywhere the second modification I did was to take a shoelace no less and make a sling to attach a neck strap to and I just tied it through the the hole there in the the clamp and made a loop and the same on the other side and that gives me a nice comfortable holding position now I know you might think this is over the top it's a very lightweight controller but after you've been flying for a time it can get a bit heavy and of course you could do that you could stand up and it's safe you can take your hands away the next modification was to take the the covers that came with the the little boxes that the the batteries sit in and glue them together cut holes in and make a cover for the controller that's very safe I can wrap it up, I can put it in the box, it's fully protected. Now I've ordered a case for my Mavic but I didn't want to buy the Fly More combo because it was a bit expensive. The the, the DJI bag I think was 75 sterling uh, and the the bag that I purchased from Amazon is uh, only about 45 euro. So I have this camera bag I've had this bag for a long time and I thought that it would uh, make a good bag for the Mavic and so it does the Mavic goes in the middle the controller goes in the right there and the batteries go in these little things they came in safely in that pocket there so I can carry two batteries plus the battery in the Mavic and 
there's a hole there for other things like the charging cable and I could even take another battery if I had one. So that's the end of my unboxing. Please like, subscribe and comment if you will and I'll see you in the next video.